This video is about how to edit in Canon Digital Photo Professional 4 or Canon DPP 4. But the fun part of photography is not just editing. In fact, it's editing plays the small role in the whole process. The main part or the fun part of the photography is actually going out shooting images in the nature like right now you're looking at it or could be walking in the city just randomly on a street and taking simple photography or you know taking photos of your family vacation anything it's just the fact that you were in there physically to take those amazing images like i'm doing right now me here i'm at the top of the altitude about 800 meters on the top in reunion island inside a village in the middle of a nature where almost no people you can see the greenery the blue sky the waterfall the sound of bird and that's about it and to be honest with you i'm happy with that already you don't need to edit a lot when you are there because you know the photo is going to be already beautiful because you love the place already you don't need to convince anyone else that those are beautiful because you know that they are beautiful and the fact that i have such an amazing opportunity to go and visit and uh, be in the nature and forget about all the chaos around the world that's more than anything although why not show you how to edit in canon dpp which is my preferred software for editing my canon raw files now here are the images that i've taken what i'm going to do before even i continue to edit my images i only have two as you can clearly see because i was there so much in the nature that uh, i mean i forgot to take many images because i think that's a good thing good thing is that i did not allow myself to take too many images and i let myself have a lot of fun and peaceful moment but important part here i'm going to do to make this um, editing fast i'm going to go to the preference and make sure my cache is in the right place i believe it is there you go that's the one so i'm going to click ok and maximum available on disks i'm going to raise it as much as i can because i don't really care i have plenty of spaces available um and then okay and then i'm going to see uh, turn on my highlight and shadow warning now before I go in there I'm gonna go to this image this is phenomenal it just show you exactly the size of the nature because that's why that's the whole idea of this image even though it's not perfect like a magazine perfect image because you have a car in the corner but this car and those two people kind of gives you an idea that enormousity of these mountains the greenery is basically you like in the Jurassic Park now what I'm going to do you know I'm a simple guy I just go chronologically so I'm in the uh, basic ima image adjustment area and my histogram is right here so I'm going to put it on the side so that you can get to see all the process then starting from the brightness I think I'm good in this case yeah it can be better but that being said, I am going to go to the picture style and then select uh, landscape. So it's already quite nice and beautiful uh, in my eyes. Followed by the automatic um, white balance correction because Canon DPP knows um, its camera. Like just algorithm is just phenomenal. I show it gives you the famous wonderful and beautiful canon colors um, i also my personal preference like a touch of in the red area for example i'm going to go to a little bit at the bottom closer to magenta but not too much though just a touch just a notch i'm going to turn on the auto light optimizer there you go you have much more punchiness once it's done 
uh, I'll keep it to the standard, not much. Then I'll go down to the gamma adjustment, it's phenomenal. Um, I'm going to explain in future videos, but know that this thing can help you big time. Wait a second, watch for the magic. Beam. Now, it gives you the <coughs> nice contrast and beautiful separation. What, I, what do I mean by that? Look at this lamp post and the background. The contrast is so good that it kind of looks like uh, 3D. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks sharp, but not in a uh, cartoonish sharp way. It just well separated from the background, which is just wonderful. Now, once it's done, I'm going to go down and in the advanced section, see what else has to be done. So my shadow, oh no, photo is just good already. Um, I could add some more contrast, but I don't like this kind of slides right there. The reason why, because I'm a big fan of curb. So I'm going to add some color tone plus one. Saturation, not much because I have another section to go to. Sharpness, I'm going to leave it to uh, standard. This is the basic overall adjustment. Now, the noise reduction. Look, uh, there is something wrong with the noise in this image. Sincerely, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. So I'm not going to play too much with the, my noise reduction because I'm not a noise freak like a lot of people. However, I'm a freak of curb. So I'm going to add a nice little S curb. Like that. Now, that's not done yet. I'm going to play with the individual curl channel because I'm a big fan of these color channels, but you need to handle them carefully. So I'm going to add some more red on the highlight and a less red in the shadow area and fix it there you go then i'll do exactly the same thing in the blue blue from the highlight i'm going to reduce uh, blue so which means i'm going to add some more yellow and in the shadow i will do exactly the same mid-tone though i'm going to leave it as it is and in the green, I'm going to add a little bit more green in the mid-tone, only in the mid-tone. In the highlight, I'm going to reduce it. In the shadow as well, I'm going to reduce it. How wonderful is it? huh? Is there any way to show you before and after? I don't know. I'm going to find it out later. Um, pin and compare image. I think that's the one. Is that the one? So I'm trying to figure out which one I can which one is it in order to show you before and after. At this moment I have no idea. If you have any idea let me know. But the editing is not done yet. So we're going to go to the color adjustment. Now we have a dominant in the greenery, which is totally fine. Overall, the photo is doing fantastic. Um, the blue though, uh, I'm going to change the sky just a little bit because I'm a big fan of purple. So in the, because it's not gonna affect the sky on the top, it's just going to, it's also going to affect the bottom line. So I'm going to try, go back and forth and see which one is the right slider. So this one is not, this one is not either. Oh, this one is it, exactly, there you go, found the right slider. Uh, so if I go all the way to the left, it's changing the sky and then giving a nice separation at the foreground. But if I go all the way to the uh, the right, sorry, previously it was left. Now if I'm going to the right, it's also giving you the nice separation of the sky to the foreground. Um, which one you prefer? I don't know. I like both. So I'm going to keep this one. Not much. The, there is not much of a red dominance except the dress over here. Um, which is totally fine by me. 
and then the lens correction should be somewhere here the crop later i'm going to get to the crop later or now that i'm here i don't know somehow did you notice that it just got dark for some reason i have no idea what i did because if i go to the crop area it's changing it now this is most likely because of a bug which i hope it is right mm, no uh, the crop 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 how do I do the crop I think I'm gonna do free and ah that's how you do so I'm gonna go all the way to the left like that because I'm trying to get to the square part a little bit so as you can clearly see the crop section has a bug well you know again doesn't really matter so that's for me should do the job just a little bit and then I'm going to go to the lens section do the digital lens optimizer now digital lens optimizer is the magic of Canon DVP because it's better than sharpness simply explaining what it does it give you the lens correction done by the guys engineers on uh, in, in, in Canon so you should be more than safe now my challenge right now it's not actually the editing part my challenge is actually to show you the before and after now how i'm gonna do that exactly um oh there you go found it so you can see side by side before and after and the huge dramatic change and wonderful you see I'm happy because it's just colorful but it's not oversaturated which is phenomenal so what I'm going to do I'm going to um, save the recipe how I'm gonna save the recipe save the recipe in file uh, maybe I'm gonna save it in the desktop with the file name to um, landscape Canon landscape Canon land escape done now I'm going to copy that and go to this section and then paste it is there any way there you go first of all I think I did the wrong copy I'm going to do copy recipe and then go to this one and then paste recipe See what it gives me it does give me everything but of course it's an underexposed image so guess what i have to do first i'm going to go to the gamma adjustment and redo the whole thing first second thing i'm gonna do is to do the white balance i think automatic so it's already done and then the brightness adjustment i'm going to add some more brightness the good thing about the canon brightness adjustment which is it does um give you the nice exposure without clipping the sky the hardest part of this kind of image is the white cloud so in this case you can clearly see that it doesn't really um clip the white part which is beautiful and i'm glad that it's happening that way although um i think i could add some more um yellow or not i don't know maybe i'm gonna leave it just like that the lens optimizer looks good i think i could i, I wish i could show you exactly the difference between before and after so look at this little box on the side right now any way to show you before and after so that's before and after take a good look at the little box so before and after right so that's looking good as well i think that i could add some more brightness here right go all the way up nice and vibrant and by doing so that will permit me to add a little bit contrast so i'm going to go to the rgb and there you go the rgb and go down a little bit in the dark area right and then 
add a little bit of brightness in the midtone and shadow and the highlight looks pretty good in my eyes. I'm going to go to the crop and the left side I have no I have no idea where I'm going to do that. Uh, maybe what I can do I could actually do opposite. I could do this instead which will give me a kind of like a panoramic look right so that's done yeah I like this it's pretty awesome and then anything else distortion that looks good I'm going to go back and then do another distortion control in this one as well and that's it there you go look guys pretty easy pretty simple nothing complicated uh, not like a, um, a brainstorming a lot simple edit life is simple keep everything simple just take the good photo most importantly enjoy the process especially going out and you know listening and looking at the nature that is very important now take a look at the images after this video and let me know what you think in the comment section below if you learn something out of it you know Feel free to go to the description and see what you have available and help me out any way you can. That being said, bye bye.